Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about one of the most important interview questions uh, for Power BI. And uh, there's a question that is asked that what is the difference between direct query and import connectivity modes? So first of all, I'll open Microsoft SQL Server. And here you can see that we have this particular query, select all from table one, union select all from table two. So I will be using this particular query to bring the data from Microsoft SQL Server to Power BI Desktop. So Control A, Control C. Now I'll click here on SQL Server. Since I'm using import mode, I'll expand this advanced options and control B. First of all, I'm importing the data using this query. So I'll simply click on OK. OK, so we'll have to provide the name of the database as well. No problem. Fine, so I'll click on OK. And load. Since we have imported this particular query, so I'll rename it as imported query. We brought this data to Power BI Desktop using the import connectivity mode. Now let's bring the same data to Power BI Desktop using direct query connectivity mode. Again, I'll click on Home tab, SQL Server, and then we have AdventureWorks 2019. This time I'll be using direct query and fine. And now I'll click on OK. and load. Since I brought this data uh, to Power BI Desktop using the direct query connectivity mode, so I'll write direct query here. Direct query. Fine. So these are basically two connectivity modes, right? So and one, one more thing that you should keep in mind is that this direct query connectivity mode is not available for all the data sources. Like for example, when I'll click on SQL Server, for Microsoft SQL Server, you can see that there are two data connectivity modes that is important direct query, but it is not available for all the data sources. So I'll be sharing a link in the description box below. So if you just want to see what are the sources for which direct query mode is supported, so you can see and check that using that link. Now let's talk about the differences. The very first difference is that data view is not available for direct query. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop again. Here you can see we have something called data view. I'll click on data view. And since here I have this imported query selected. So for this particular query, you can see this table here, right? But if I will click on direct query, it displays a message that this table uses direct query and cannot be shown. So you cannot see the table in data view, right? If you have used direct query connectivity mode for a given table, but if you have imported the table, then you can see it in the data view, right? As we have discussed, let's talk about the second point. Direct query option is only available for certain data sources. You may refer to the list of those data sources in Microsoft official documentation as well. And I'll be sharing that link, by the way, in the description box below. I've already told about this particular point. Let's talk about the third point. That is, we have some limitations while performing data transformations, right? So when we are performing data transformations in Power Query Editor, there are certain limitations when we are using direct query connectivity mode. So let's go back to Power Query Editor. Fine. I'll just try to explain it to you using an example. Uh, first of all, I'll select this imported query and let's say for this imported query, I want to change the data type of column C1 and I want to make it text. So I can easily do it. Now let's do the same thing for direct query. If I'll click here and I'll try to change the data type to text, it displays a message that this step results in a query that is not supported in direct query mode. So when it comes to performing data transformations, there are certain limitations to using uh, when you're using direct query, there are certain limitations. So you should keep that as well in mind. This is also one of the important differences between direct query and import mode, right? Okay. Now let's talk about the next point. For certain sources, if you have used direct query, then you can change it to import mode. 
but you can't change from import to direct query mode now let's th discuss this point as well here we have used microsoft sql server so for microsoft sql server if i'll open model view here you can see this blue line over this particular query and we have given it this name direct query so this is having this blue line it displays that it is basically having direct query as the storage mode let's say i want to change the storage mode from direct query to import so i'll simply click here on this particular query and then here i will expand this advanced section and from this storage mode i'll change it from direct query to import so it displays this message that setting the storage mode to import has following implications and so on so i'll just simply click on okay and you can see that we were able to change the uh, the storage mode from direct query to import now if you will click on this data view and now if i'll click here on this direct query now you can view this data right because it has been cha changed to uh, import mode but if i will try to change the storage mode for imported query to direct query then let's then let's see what happens if i'll try to change it to direct query it displays a message that imported tables cannot be converted to direct query so the, this is the point that we were discussing here that is the fourth point that we talked about similarly let's talk about the fifth point we prefer using direct query when we have very large volume of data and importing the data is not a feasible solution let's say there's a situation wherein you have very large data sets and you cannot import the data it's not feasible in those situations in those cases also we prefer using direct query also if there are situations and circumstances where data changes frequently and you want near real time reporting right whenever you uh, you want to open your report you want to see uh, the updated data that is available in the source latest updated data that is available in the source that is uh, the situations where you have to do near real time reporting in those cases as well those situations as well we prefer using direct query also point number 7 there is a fixed this is one of the limitations of direct query that there is a fixed limit of 1 million rows that can return in a single query to the underlying source right but there is no such limitation when it comes to importing the data so if you are using direct query then in a single query the number of the records that you want to bring to power bi desktop should not be more than 1 million rows right but there is no such limitation when it comes to importing the data so i hope this session was helpful in explaining it to you that what is the difference between direct query and import mode and this is one of the most important interview questions so i think this uh, session was helpful for you we'll meet in the next session till then thank you bye bye